The daughter of a woman rescued in this video talks about the desperate moments her mother went through as a sinkhole opened up and eventually submerged the car into the water. First responders and bystanders, as you see right here, taking that woman out of the back window of the car just in the nick of time. And in video from earlier today, you can see the sheer size of the sinkhole. That's what you see right here after the water was pumped out. And you can see where the car ended up right at the bottom and is just a complete muddy mess. The car has since been pulled out of the sinkhole. And this is a look at what is left behind. ABC 7's Brianna Perez has been at the scene all day. She joins us live now. Brianna. Eric, that's right. The car is now out of that sinkhole, as you just saw moments ago. But I want to show you the aftermath of what we are seeing right now at this intersection here. As you can see, crews are still on scene looking to fix this pipe burst. But the daughter of the woman saved tells me that she is thankful for those that saved her mom's life. There are good people out there that were willing to help and even risk their life to help her. 72-year-old Martha was the woman saved from the sinkhole last night. With the help of several bystanders and firefighters, Martha was able to make it out just in time. Martha's daughter, Carla Hernandez, tells me she is grateful for those that acted quickly to save her mom's life. I was amazed, thankful, surprised, um, shocked once again, but... Um, just comes to show you that there's still good people out there. She says she was shocked to learn what happened to her mom. She wouldn't think there was a sinkhole, so I'm, I'm very confused myself. Just I do not know what happened, but yes, I mean, it's scary. It's scary to know that that can actually happen. But questions remain as to what caused the sinkhole. The hole was created with a broken 24-inch water line. Uh, this water line is under high pressure. Uh, when the line broke, up to 10,000 gallons per minute of water was rushing through there. El Paso Water says a nearly 70-year-old pipe burst that caused the road to cave in. El Paso's Water Chief Operations Officer Gilbert Trejo says the water line is made of cast iron and has been replaced two times in the last 10 years. If you cannot see uh, the pavement because of running water, rushing water, whether it's storm water or whether it's a broken main, uh, just turn around. However, there was no water on the road surface and it had not been raining in that area. A witness tells us they were driving through that area, heard a loud crack and saw the road buckle as Martha's car drove over the road, leaving little time for Martha to react. She says her mom is now safe and is at home resting, but is grateful for those that acted quickly to save her life. I mean, anybody can lose their life in a minute, 30 seconds. And I know, I mean, if it wasn't for those people helping, we could have lost my mom yesterday. And El Paso Water says that crews will be here at this intersection until Saturday fixing this issue. So that's when you will be able to drive back onto this road. For now reporting in central El Paso, Brianna Perez, CBC7. All right, Brianna, I think a lot of people with the rain that we did receive in many parts of the borderland yesterday thought immediately that that had to do with flooding and rainwater. But as Brianna referenced, this was not a rain event. This was that ruptured pipe that burst underground. And we're just all grateful that firefighters and also those bystanders were there to pull Martha out of that car in time. Wow. Absolutely. Well